Hello, kindergarten friends. Welcome back to art class. This week upcoming uh, is going to be Earth Day. That would be on Monday. Uh, that was weird the way I said it. Uh, this coming Monday is Earth Day, is what I meant to say. And uh, we're going to do, be doing an Earth Day related thing, which also relates back to our last lesson. And that's this thing right up here. Uh, this drawing that you see next to my head, it's a sunflower with honeybees all around it. And honeybees are super important. Um, honeybees pollinate. They, they spread pollen around so that flowers can bloom and grow. And they are a super important part of our ecosystem. But they can also be kind of scary, right? If you've ever been bitten, or not bitten, but stung by a honeybee, you know. Those little stingers can really hurt. So they're cool to look at. They make a fun noise. I love that buzzing sound that they make but they are best appreciated from a little bit of a distance. Anyway, let's draw this picture. And uh, yeah, just grab your pencil and your piece of paper, which I'll probably say that again. And uh, let's go draw this. All right, here we go with our bees and flower. So one thing that you will find very handy if you can get it is a cereal bowl. Um, you can actually trace around the outside of the bowl to make your um, circle in the center of your sunflower. So if you got something, a bowl, a plate, a lid, like a large lid to something, and even something, a toy or something that's circular, you can use that. And that will be very handy. I'm going to um, just use that that you saw there. All right. And... Let's go ahead and get started. Grab your pencil, grab your paper, and let's do it. <clears throat> All right, I think I'm going to start it. I'm going to move it from there to there. Sure. All right. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to draw a circle. Just like that. And this first part is going to be Pretty similar to the flowers that we did last time. Make some little lines like this if you want to, just to kind of help you see where you should be. And then you're just gonna connect them. And this is gonna be the petals themselves are going to be kind of small because we're making a sunflower. And it's got a very big uh, middle and then some kind of smaller, relatively smaller petals around the outside. There we go. And there. All right. There's a big Beautiful sunflower, also similar to next uh, to last time. We're gonna have our stem. With some um, leaves on it. Oops, so that connects really well. Now here comes the fun new thing. We are gonna be drawing some bees. So let's start by making one right here. I'm gonna make kind of a oval, right? A long circle. We're going to make one wing straight up and down, more or less like that. And then a second wing come off like that. Make sure to give your bee a, an eye and some stripes. Awesome. Oops. Okay. I'll probably come back in and clean that up a little bit, but just to give you an idea. So, and then if you want to, you can even make a little stinger right there. All right. I like that beat. Let's draw another one, maybe down here. Body. One straight up a down wing. One back wing like that. 
I, some stripes, and a little stinger again. And maybe one more. We gotta have lots of bees to pollinate the flowers. I, stripes, awesome. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and add some color here and then we'll come back and discuss a little bit more. All right, so I just added some color there and there you go. There is a, there is our sunflower with um, bumblebees. If you'd like, you could do some stuff. You could add some clouds. Maybe I'll add a cloud or two. Sometimes I like to make cool, like, flat bottom clouds like this. All right, you could add a cloud or two. You know, something like that. Awesome. Well, I hope that you enjoyed doing this, and I hope that your drawings turned out well. Make sure you get them to me, and uh, yeah, this was fun. I'll see you guys again next week. Bye.